hello and welcome to shoulders and back conditioning video so the way i like to do my conditioning is do the conditioning it's quick and dirty like 15 minutes and then after that do a stretching video or maybe a vinyasa video something like that so for this video we won't do a traditional centering and shavasana we're just going to get right into it okay so things that you might like to have, not need to have, a block for one of our exercises. Other than that, just you and a uh, little bit of uh, positivity, maybe a little excitement. And here we go. First up is Shishulasana or Dolphin Pose with a block if you have it. The reason why we have the block is to keep our arms parallel. There's a tendency, if we don't have a block, you don't need it, but there's a tendency for the hands to move in towards each other and the elbows to pull away from each other because it's awkward. It's an awkward pose and that's what makes it so good. So if you have a block, place it between the hands with all the fingers, including the thumbs on the outside and keep the elbows inward so that the elbow, wrist, and middle finger are all in one straight line. From there, we tuck the toes under, hips press up and back, and we do little pulses. Ooh, do that. So we're in our dolphin pose. Keep holding here. If you want to add that challenge, just a little bit of pulsing. And that just means heart moves towards your feet and back towards the feet. And back. And because we didn't do any warm up previous to this, this is our warm up. So be sure not to do too large of a movement in those pulses. Just a little bit. It's just getting the joints warmed up a little and a little bit of range of motion. And keep going. If you need to take a break at any time, feel free to do so. I have a timer going, but there's no need to do the full length of the timer, especially if this is the first time doing this video. Feel free to lower the knees down, find a child's pose for just a few moments and then pop back in with the same healthy alignment as the very first time you started. Take two breaks if you need to, take three, take four. The idea is just to go for the full length of the time no matter how many breaks you need to take. Things that will help you in this exercise. Breathing is one. So slow, deep breathing through the nose, lots of oxygen to those muscles. The other thing that might help is to allow the belly to scoop in and up. So when you're upside down, it kind of naturally goes in and up. It's kind of a cool feeling. It's a little bit less interesting or fascinating when your shoulders are on fire or your arms, but that's okay. Keep going. We are actually almost done. So gently heart goes towards the feet and returns. Keep going. Breathing deep. And you're done. Gently lower the knees down to your mat and find a child's pose here. Couple deep breaths through the nose. The next super fun exercise is called T's. It's just you make a T. So lying on our bellies, arms going to the sides, and oh, I have to shimmy over this way a little bit. What we're doing here is get into the most awkward available variation of on your belly. So that means like nose to your mat, long neck, belly scooping in so much that your belly is coming up off the floor. Shoulders down away from the ears. Take a quick peek at your arms. We don't want them lower. We want them exactly straight out to the sides. Then I'll put on my trusty timer. All we're doing here 
is arms go up and up and up. Keep going. That is the whole exercise. And we keep going. Breathing deep. So it's not about getting the arms up high. If you do have that range of motion, that's fine, as long as they're straight up to the sides. And you can even point the toes, engage the glutes, but really scooping the belly in, tucking the tailbone under as though you're trying to get the belly off the floor. Nose to your mat, maybe closing the eyes, and shoulders down away from the ears. Just little pulses. You don't have to make big motions. Just little ones. Keep pressing those shoulders away from the ears. So down. Even though we're sideways. Shoulders down, shoulders down, shoulders down. Breathing deep. Maybe still pointing those toes, engaging the glutes, belly scooping in like it's coming up and off the floor. Keep going. If you need to break at any time, take your break and then jump back in when you can. Remember, we're not trying to be a hero here, we're trying to get stronger. So maybe you take a little break and you pop back in this time. Maybe next time you can go the full length. Or maybe it's three weeks from now. It doesn't matter. If you're getting stronger, that is a bonus. That's what we're looking for. And release. <sighs> Heading into a, either just stay there, or up and back to a child's pose. I really like a child's pose after that one. So just a couple deep breaths to soften the back and the arms. Really relaxing between exercises. Soften, soften. Last few moments of a break here. And we're ready for the next one. This is wise. So this is more uncomfortable than T's, not gonna lie, but it's so good for us, okay? So gather that inner strength, that willpower. This is quick and dirty. This whole video is almost done. So we can do this. Line your belly, arms in now, a Y position. Shoulders down away from the ears and same things again. So nose to the mat, scoop the belly in, point the toes, use the boots, and here we go. Pinkies on the floor, thumbs are pointing up, and we just go up and up. You might find there's way less range of motion in this variation, and that's okay. You might not even be able to get the arms up off the floor. You just kind of go hoo, hoo, and repeat, and that's okay. Really important to have good alignment. So we've got the belly scooping in almost off the floor, like you're trying to get the belly completely off the floor. Tucking the tailbone under to assist that motion, putting the toes, using the glutes, and once again, double checking that the shoulders are down away from the ears. Long neck, little pulses, keep going. And this is temporary, so dig deep, find that willpower. But if you need to break, not a problem at all. No feeling guilty, just take a break and then pop back in. Know that you're getting stronger. Breathing deep. Once again, going through all our alignment checks. So shoulders down away from the ears, belly scoops in, so it's almost trying to come up off the floor. Tailbone tucks under to assist in that motion, pointing the toes so that the glutes are engaged. Shoulders down, the neck is long, nose to your mat. Almost done. Last few seconds.
five, four, three, two, and one. Relax. You can either hang out on your tummy or I like a nice child's pose after that. Softening and melting, allowing the pull back to relax. A few deep breaths here. We'll take a good few seconds here. Okay, heading into the next one. We've got wide push-ups coming up. So normally in yoga, we do our triceps push-ups, so that's where the elbows are tucked in tight. But for this one, we're going to step the arms quite far apart. Now, be aware you're allowed to have your knees down on the floor for this one. Belly scoops in. And then we step the hands apart nice and wide, ensuring that the entire palm is still on the floor. We do that by focusing on pressing into the roots of the index finger, so no cupping of the hands. You don't want the palms to come up off the floor. Pressing right into the roots of the index fingers. I'll set our timer, and we can take breaks. Remembering you can keep your knees lowered. I am. Here we go. The neck is long. So we lower. This is all at your own pace. And you come back up. Keep going. Usually in yoga with our triceps push-ups, we're pulling the elbows in tight. This one we're not. We're allowing those elbows to go out to the side as much as they want to. This is just an opportunity to get strong in an area and using muscles that we don't often use in yoga. And it can really help your yoga practice. This will even help your triceps push-ups, believe it or not. Muscle confusion, getting stronger in random different places is all good for you. Now the trick here, try to make this more of a core strengthener than an arm strengthener. Pull the pelvic floor up, scoop the belly in, and keep going. We're almost done, we're in the home stretch. See if you can feel that core working more than anything else. If you started with the knees off the floor and you need to lower them at any point, feel free. It's totally acceptable. Remember, this is your practice to get stronger. It's conditioning, not see if you can do it. And if you do, you win a prize or a gold star. We don't. We don't have gold stars here. Actually, I really like gold stars. Not gonna lie. And you're done. Child's pose. Just for that, you get a gold star. Ah. <sighs> Really softening and melting. Good few moments to relax. Okay, here we go. Next up. I just call these cobra ups for lack of a creative description. So we lower onto our bellies. For this one, we start shoulders down away from the ears. All we're doing is pressing up to cobra. So maybe that's a little bit, maybe it's a lot. Whatever your cobra is, we press up. Here's the trick. When we release, we're using our back muscles. So it's almost as though your arms are like, I'm letting go now, and your back's like, no, I want to stay in cobra. So you can feel how that uses your back muscles. So this one's nice and slow. Now here we go. Arms, press us up. And then the back hangs on, hangs on, hangs on. So you slowly release. Keep going. This is the entire exercise. 
glutes are engaged, toes are pointed, arms to come up. We still have our scapular, shoulder blades, pressing together and down. So it's like a V shape as we lower. And they stay there the whole time. We're still wide across the collarbones. And keep going. Just repeating your cobra and your slow, 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 slow release down. We're in the home stretch now already. This one is probably the easiest of all of the exercises that we're doing, which is why it happens towards the end. And we're almost done this entire conditioning video. Keep going. Break if you need to, maybe taking a few moments. And then when you're available, again, pop back in. Nice and smooth motions. Using those back muscles as you reverse peel the chest back onto the floor. Each time. And wherever you're at, last one. Finding a child's pose or stay on your belly, whatever feels right for you for just a little rest, softening into those spaces that just worked really, really hard. And come on up. And you're done. That was our conditioning for our arms, shoulders, and back. At this point, if you'd like to take a Shavasana and be done your yoga practice for the day, feel free. Or if you'd like to head into a stretchy video or a vinyasa video, now is a good chance. Until next time, namaste. Have a really, really good rest of your day or next class if you're heading into that next video. Bye for now.